So everything is looking good. But before we do anything else in this simulation, let's just backtrack to the crowdsource again. So I'm going to go to this randomize tab. Let us just have a look at the items that we didn't go through before. So it went through these guys. We also have a randomized current layer. And here we can set the default and the party zombie. And by doing that, you can see that now some of them have a party hat. You can randomize the scale. It can also be useful. You can randomize the initial velocity, which we are not using, so this won't matter to us. But then you have this randomized heading. What does that do? And you can also see if you go to the setup, you have a heading here as well. And the heading is the direction of the agent. So now they are pointing to Z, which you can see they are pointing in the C axis. If I set that to the X axis, you can now see they are pointing in X. And if you set it to minus X, they will point in the other direction. So that's pretty cool. And you can go in and randomize that here in the randomize heading. Uh, so you can set some value here. But me personally, I find this way of randomizing the vector direction a bit confusing. I would rather just have it rotating around the up axis. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And so I'm going to drop down an attribute drop, and I'm going to have that after. I'm going to have that after a crowdsource. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to drop down a rotate node. So here we go. And so what a rotate is, it takes the matrix, and then it rotates that around an axis. So you have an angle, and you have an axis, and then you plug in the matrix here. So what you can do then is that you can convert this to vectors. So if I take matrix to vector, you can see I take a matrix 3 to vector, and then I get, this is actually matrix 4, but it will convert it to matrix 3. And then by doing this, this first axis would be x, the second axis would be y, and the third axis will be Z. So we want the third one into the heading. So if I do a bind, bind export, and set in, and bind export is how you set attributes in a VOP. So then I can go in here and I can set a heading. And now you see something happened. And this angle on the rotate node is in radians. So let's convert that. So I'm going to do degrees to radians. At least for me, it's easier to visualize an angle by having a value between 0 and 360. So now you can see we have this, and they're rotating in a weird axis. That is because of this axis here. So you could plug your up axis here. Let's just do that, actually. Then we can have a bind. Okay, I feel like I have to summarize what I'm doing a bit better. With a rotation node, we have to specify a vector that the agent is rotating around. So we want this vector to be along his body, so pointing from his feet to his head. Because our environment is just a flat plane, we could just set the vector to 0, 1, 0, which means that it points along the y-axis. But this wouldn't work in every case. And as the crowdsource already has defined an up vector in an attribute called up, let us just use that. So I can set this to vectors. So I have the up vector. I can plug that in here. And now if we rotate that, you can see they are rotating sweet but we of course want to randomize it so i'm going to drop down the random and i'm going to use the point number as a seed so this random node that will give us a value between zero and one so what i can do then is i can use a fit range and what this does is take the value and set the original range and then what range you want to map it to so like i said the random value will be between zero and one that's fine and then we, of course, want to have it to 0 to 360. If we want to do a whole rotation. And then I can plug that in here. And now you can see they are looking in every direction. But you can also set the range here. So maybe you just want to have them between 0 and 40. So this way you can still have them going in the same direction, but with a bit of variation. So it look a little bit more organic. So that is cool. But before we move on, I'm just going to show you gotcha. I'm going to turn this off. If you're setting the heading on this node, you have to make sure that the initial velocity is not set. So if I set the initial velocity, that will override the heading. So now you can see it doesn't matter that we have this randomized value over here because the velocity is just going to set the heading as well. Just a little thing to remember. This won't affect it if you're setting the heading afterwards with this node. 
So I, I can, with this node, I can set it and don't care if there's a velocity set there. All right.